when there is a crisis such as around diagnosis, um, what often happens is, uh, and it's often the woman, if she's working, the decision is made um, that she'll be the stay at home parent and the other one will be a breadwinner. And that, uh, like crises, that often feels reasonable. It, it, that decision may, be come, may come with some grief, but maybe not resentment. But over time, that can change. And as one parent said, uh, one spouse meeting the stay at home one gets the role of doctor, caretaker, researcher, coordinator, therapist, advocate, while the other continues much of the life they had before the diagnosis. And that's that issue of resentment. What I write about in the book with Fran Fazan, I don't do it alone, has to do with roles. And you see those trains running on separate tracks. Often there's this divide and conquer um, when there's serious illness with the child. And divide and conquer works short term, long term, it's a problem, right? That's how we end up in the resentment dance doing things by ourselves. So I pasted in a picture of kind of intersecting tracks, ways to build it in. So it's not in essence a mother doing all of it. Okay, next slide please. Or a husband, I've had it both ways. So this is that issue of working more towards teamwork. And the, this is uh, when I talk about the resentment dance. Um, and I, uh, I have an article in Autism File on this kind of changing that dance. And part of it is making space. Once you get good and your partner may not be as um, up to speed with some of your child's needs, we still need to make space for them to learn. And so often uh, in a mother's head, it's I can do it faster. He won't do it right. I know about this more than he does. So they won't delegate tasks and the partner gets less able. There's also that issue of giving up control, right? I had one mother who would listen at the door as her husband would interact with the son, yet she then could criticize him and say, he doesn't interact with our son enough. They don't have enough of a relationship. So we have to make space. And this goes back to valuing two opinions and differences. When I put you know, we get in the expert parent role. And I know in my situation, being a psychologist and specializing in disability, I, you know, I felt like I had the answers and I should have the answers and people pay for my opinion. And, and there were times my husband, who's a salesman, had so much more correct than I did. Um, so we take we have to take our egos out of that and embrace that other point of view because sometimes we're wrong. Okay.